Hello everyone, it is Asset here at the Goddess Inside and I cannot believe it, but we are in December for the card of the month with my dear friend, Reverend Dr. Normandy Ellis. Hi Normandy. Hi my dear friend, Asset. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too. It's hard to believe we've been virtual all year long, but here we are. Whew, I know it, <laughs> I know it. So hopefully uh, in the new year, things can, um, you know, we don't live that far away from each other. We were able to do some things on the porches, um, but it's going to be a little chilly in January, I think. So yeah, it will be. It will so be. We'll see how that goes. Yes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pull a card for the month of December to kind of close out the year. And uh, the deck that we're using is the Oracle of Sachet. It's a deck of cards that um, we created using the book that Normandy wrote, Hieroglyphic Words of Power. And in it, you'll find um, hieroglyphs that are on an Oracle card. And so you can use the book to find out what the cards mean, some different spreads that you can use. Um, and if we don't say so ourselves, these make wonderful Christmas gifts or a gift at any time of the year <laughs> for yourself and for all of your friends and family who love all things Egypt and the metaphysical. So without further ado, let's get right to it, shall we? Let's do it. So we're looking for the most important thing for us to know in December. My finger was on a card that wants to be pulled. Okay. Oh, that that. Yeah, that that. Beautiful goddess energy to end the year where you can feel uh, the Tet is a uh, sacred symbol of Isis. It is kind of the knot that ties the two of you or your souls together. And I think it's a wonderful way to just also kind of remember uh, the divine mother and how we are tied into her. Um, in the womb, we're tied to our mothers through our umbilical cords. And with Isis, she's our spiritual mother and we can tie into her. And I think that December might be a month of really um, nurturing yourself, um, nurturing those around you, um, not only with your words and your actions, but knowing that your words and your actions may feed someone, you know, that umbilical cord is what feeds us and helps us to grow. And so this would be a way for you to look at how your words and your actions hinder or amplify your own ability to grow and how that affects the ability of those around you that you speak to and that you interact with, how that affects them and how they're able to grow. So there's a lot of nurturing, I think, with this card for yourself and for others, and to tie in and to recenter into your spiritual practice. You know, we're in the winter months, so it's a great time to just settle in. If you've got, you know, one, if you've got 12 of Normandy's 14 books, then maybe this is a great time to settle in with some of those and just dive in and go deep. You know, there's all these exercises and writing prompts throughout her books and a great way to work on your metaphysical journal, to work on your spiritual growth. And um, so that's, that's how I see this just very nurturing month and, um, to take care, take care of you and those around you. How about you, Normandy? What do you see in this special card? Oh, I like, I like the, um, I also think of the connection between the umbilical cord and the, and the mother. And that's what ties all of us as mothers and daughters together is that cord. And that, that tie goes all the way back through the generations. You know, each one of us is tied to the mother before, to the mother before, to the mother before. And so um, it's, it's also a real feeling of being with the ancestral mothers, you know, all of your mothers, all the way back. Um, and so the other thing is too, that the celebration in December, on December 21st, 
is called the Night of the Mothers. And it's the connection between uh, the queen and Isis and Nut, the mother goddess, the sky goddess. Um, and so that is a celebration of the birth of the child, the holy child. It's a, it was an ancient celebration uh, on the solstice for the return of the light and uh, the beautiful uh, darkness of the winter sky, which is filled with the stars that are all the children of the goddess. Um, and they're really seen I think like the new moon is the best time to see uh, that beautiful sky. Uh, and, and right around midnight, Orion is starting to rise and you'll see him very strongly in the sky with Sirius. Um, I, I believe it's going to be a very fertile time, a very um, great time to be planting seeds for the next year, to be looking back through your um, life in the last 12 months, uh, what what is it that I want to keep and carry forward? You know, uh, how do I want to plant them? Uh, what do I want to harvest in the coming 12 months? And so I think this is a really good time in the winter to be sorting the seeds and, and sitting by the firelight and dreaming and thinking about, uh, you know, what's growing inside of us that wants to come out. Yeah, and as you were talking about being tied to, you know, all of our ancestors and the mothers and our line of our family, you know, we do have, you know, December's the month of Christmas and holidays and celebrations. And so whether, you know, we're able to or not to get together with family, it might be a fun time to kind of drag out those photo albums, uh, to talk about grandma, to talk about great aunts, you know, Sam, and, um, you know, to share some of their stories, because, you know, I know, you know, both you and I have talked about the women in our line and, and things about ourselves that we see, you know, our mothers experienced, and that we're having kind of this deja vu of what they went through. Um, and so that might also just be an interesting way to kind of look at your life, um, you know, in the month of December, call up your grandma, call up your aunts and uncles, your mom, your sisters, um, your cousins, and just share stories about, you know, all of the, the mothers. I think that would be really fun. Yeah, my grandparents have been in spirit a long time, but I'm going to call up my grandmother through her journals. I think that's a good project for the winter. Yeah, I, my grandmother, she's uh, written journals her whole life, but she's a very private person. And I'm interested in reading her journals just because I see her as a woman, you know, I see her as having all of these experiences and, you know, that she always kept very private and, but she's like, nope, when I die, you know, I, I, they're supposed to burn them, you know, and I'm just like, well, I mean, cause that's over, you know, 60 years of this woman's life that we'll never know, you know, and I suppose those are her secrets to take with her. Um, but I, I would just like to know, you know, more of it. So every time I visit her, I try to, you know, do you remember this or tell me about this time in your life? And right, it's been really, right. really a great way to get to know her better. You know, it's very different when you're an adult as to when you're a child. So mm -hmm. maybe take advantage of that uh, this month with um, the card of the knot of Isis. So I love that symbol. So, yeah. all right. So you guys have a great month to look forward to uh, some good memories and all of these kinds of things and practices that you can start to use. Um, so be sure you go visit all the links below. There are going to be um, for Normandy's website where she's teaching many online classes and courses. Um, there'll be links to my website. Same thing, doing a lot of things online these days where that's wonderful because now we can both be extremely global, uh, <laughs> even outside of our trips to Egypt, which we will be taking in September of 2021. Um, um, and we still have a few spots left. So um, be sure that you go to the link below for twoladiestravelco.com to fill out the form and get all the information on payments and deposits and see the itinerary and all of those sorts of things. So um, anything else you need to add, Normandy? I've just been really happy to spend uh, the year with everyone out there doing the cards and with you, Asset. 
it's it's lovely and um thank you yes thank thank you for writing the book so that we could make the cards and do this all year <laughs> thank you for taking the photographs <laughs> it was fun it was fun i'm ready to go back and and take some more so yeah me too me yes too. yes Okay. All right, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us. Check out all the links below so that you can do more with Normandy and I and come to Egypt with us. And until next time, enjoy everything about today.